Chapter 1. First thing we need to do is create a new company file. Now our business in this example has been operating already for several years and we're only setting up our data file uh, today in my also to make it easy I've set up my computer date to 1st of July 2010 so if you do that prior to opening my op, if you're going to work along and do your own data file it'll make it much easier when entering if you want to follow these dates so we'll click create new company file and we've got about uh, 10 or so steps to work through on this wizard of setting up the data file once we hit next the first thing we set up is our company name so we'll put in here st stay and play sports so we're going to set up a sports shop today and we'll put in uh, an ABN an address obviously all of these items we're, we're just um, making this up today it really doesn't matter a contact number if we wanted to Oops facts I'll leave out the facts we'll put in an email sales at sport.com there we go so once we've put in our basic contact details we'll hit next financial year obviously this is a very important step uh, today we're, we're setting up as at July 2010 we'll set our financial year as 2011 last month of the financial year we'll set as June conversion month July that is the first month that you're going to be using the data file. If you were setting up, say, in September, in MyOB, you would set uh, September as the conversion month. Finally, there's an option here called 13. Now, I won't be using this today, uh, as it can be quite annoying with reports, but what it allows you to do is put an asterisk in front of your transactions and date them, for example, asterisk 30th of June. You can run a profit and loss with the asterisk so with the 13th period or if you don't um, want it with the 13th you just run it uh, to the 30th of June so it's a way of including or excluding transactions using that 13th period I won't be using it we're just going to use the standard 12 and here we can verify the uh, financial year July 1 to th June 30 we'll click next now our chart of accounts we're going to use one of Myob's pre-designed chart of accounts. So we'll stay with this. I'd like to start with one of the lists provided. And the type today, we're going to do a retail business. And the type of business, if we hit S, it'll take us down to sporting goods dealer. We'll hit use business type. Now what that gives us in this chart of accounts is the income and expenses that you'd hope to find in a sporting type shop. Finally, we get to create our data file, and depending on the version you're running, is what the file path will be here. So on mine today, it's got plus 19 stay and play sports. You could, of course, click change and uh, put it to a different location on your network or hard drive. Finally, we'll click next, and then command center. We'll maximize that window, and we're ready to get started in our data file. Note the file name down the bottom right corner.